Hey everyone and welcome back to Premiere Gal. In this Friday FX tutorial, I'm going to show you how to isolate color in your moving images and make the rest of it black and white as seen in the film Pleasantville from 1998. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll run some clips right now so you can see. But basically the film was set in the sort of 1950s scene where everybody was in black and white. And then as people start to discover their emotion, love and passion, they start to turn into color. It's really one of my favorite films. So I'm going to show you how to create this effect first using Premiere Pro's native tools without plugins. And then I'm going to show you a faster way to do it using the Boris FX Continuum plugin with Mocha Pro. Alrighty, so let's jump in. So I have two examples here. One with a woman where we turn her lips red and then keyframe the saturation over time, eventually so it appears that she came back to life from black and white. And then there's the other clip that's a little bit more complicated and it's a shot of two boys playing in the sand on the beach. And I made one of the boys entirely in color and the rest black and white. Both of these clips are from the Pond5 stock video library and I've linked to the clips in the description box below. So first let's start with the woman and the red lips using the method without plugins, just using tools built in to Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and open up the Lumetri color panel and under basic correction, let's move the saturation slider all the way to the left to remove all the color from the shot. Now we have a black and white image. And now with the clip selected in the timeline, let's head over to the top left to the effects controls. And here you can see we can use the pen tool underneath the Lumetri color effect to draw a mask around the lips in the program panel. I'd recommend zooming in to 200 to make it easier to draw the mask. Now with the pen tool, just click to make your first point around the lips and then carefully draw a mask around the lips as best as you can. To make a point curved, simply click and hold and it will curve. And then when you're done clicking on all the points, just click on the first point to close it off and immediately you will see that the lips turn black and white and everything else turns to color. So we need to invert that by going to the effects controls. And now you can see that it's what we want. Now you may need to make some slight adjustments and I'll reduce the feathering to about five points for more precision. And then we also may need to make some slight movements to the curves until it fits the lips exactly. So now let's fit it back to the program panel and see how it looks. It looks pretty good, but if you start to play it back, you can see that the mask stays exactly where it was in the first frame position. And we need to actually animate it to move with the movement of the woman's face. So to do this, we actually need to go back and click on the toggle animation stopwatch next to the mask path while in frame one position. And this will set a keyframe. Now you will want to zoom back in to the program panel to 150% and then you're going to track the mask forward. And as the progress of the track continues, you will watch and you will see it does a pretty good job at staying on the lips, but when it's completed and you play it back, you can see that part of the lips turn black and white on the right edge. And what this means is that we actually need to go back in and manually change the tracking because it wasn't perfect. So if we zoom into the effects controls, you can see that there was a keyframe made for every frame. So we have to find that frame where the mask starts to mess up and not follow the lips perfectly. And I can see it's at about a half a second into the clip because you can start to see part of the lip on the right is in black and white. Since the clip is almost five seconds long and it's 24 frames per second, that means we have over a hundred frames that we need to fix, which is going to be a lot of work. So let me show you what you would have to do. So after you go to the frame, click on the mask path, and then you need to move the pen points manually until it looks okay. And then hit track selected mask forward one frame and continue to press it until you start to see the mask path get out of alignment again. Then you fix it again. So it's a lot of clicking as you see. So if you can imagine working with a 20 or 40 second clip, this would take a ton of time. But once you're done fixing this five second clip, it's actually a pretty great result. 
but let me show you an easier method using Boris FX Continuum. So here I have a brand new sequence with the same clip and no effects. And there is an effect by Boris FX Continuum that will make this so much easier and look better. So first go to effects and search for BCC two strip color, then double click to apply it to the clip and the timeline. And you can see that the look has a more pleasant fill like look. So under effects controls, you can add some film grain. So check it on and let's keep it at 15 and let's increase the grain to one. And you can now see that when I play it back, it has some nice subtle grain. Now I think I want to mix it up with the original a bit so it's not too pinkish looking. So I'll mix it at 10. Now if I turn the effect on and off, you can see it looks a lot better. Now next is to reduce the saturation to make it black and white. Now let's launch Mocha Pro to mask and track the lips. Let's zoom in with the magnify tool. You don't have to start the track at the first frame. Let's start in the middle of the clip. And now let's use the X spline tool to mask out the lips. Then once you close off the mask, before you track, make sure to also check perspective to track. Then hit the track forwards button. And Mocha Pro will track it in real time. It's super fast. Then move it back to the track point and track backwards until it's done. And now when you play it back, you can see that the mask stays spot on with the lips. So refinements are not needed at all. Then all we have to do is invert this mask layer by clicking next to invert. Then hit save and close Mocha Pro. And now the clip is done. But if you really want to make something cool and make it very pleasant fillish because people in the movie all eventually turn to color. So what you can do here is keyframe the saturation to go back up to 100. So let's stay in black and white for one second and then let's hit the toggle animation stopwatch next to saturation. Then scrub ahead to about four seconds and let's bring the saturation back up to 100. Let's right click on this point and make it ease out so it's more smooth. Now when we play it back, it's like she went from black and white and turned all color, which is super cool. So this shot was really easy to do. All we had to do was mask out her lips and just invert it and that was it really. But what if we want to do more complex scenes where we actually have to make the whole person in color. So over in After Effects, I've done the same thing. And by the way, you can apply the same effects in both After Effects or Premiere Pro, it doesn't matter. So in After Effects, I have the shot of the two boys playing in the sand and I've applied the exact same continuum effect to this clip, which is the BCC two strip color effect. Then I reduce the saturation to zero. And to make the one boy on the left in full color, I opened Mocha Pro to track each part of the boy's body because Mocha's tracking works in planes. Each part of this kid's body, as well as the objects, represents a new plane in that area, which had to be tracked separately. So you can see here, there is a tracking layer for the green shovel, the boy's hand, the forearm on the left, mid arm on the left, upper arm on the left, leg on the left, main body, and the head. There's a lot. And each one had to be tracked individually for accuracy. And this took a total of two hours to do. This type of work is not easy and takes a lot of time. So respect to all of the VFX artists out there. So now we need to export this Mocha project and save it to my drive. And you will see why in just a second. So hit save and close Mocha Pro. You can see that the boy is still in the original movie color and the rest is in black and white. So to get him in that two tone look, we actually need to apply another instance of the BCC two strip color effect. Then in this instance, we're going to keep the saturation at 100. And now when we launch Mocha Pro, we need to merge the project and select that exported Mocha project that I did just before. And voila, it loads in all the same tracking data that was in the previous instance. And now the two-tone effect is present on the boy and it was not before. 
So that's all for this Friday FX tutorial. I hope that you guys found it useful. And let me know, would you prefer to use Continuum's two strip color effect with Mocha Pro tracking to achieve this effect? Or would you prefer to use the native tracking tools in After Effects or Premiere Pro? So that's it. And don't forget to enter my latest giveaway for a chance to win over $5,000 worth of prizes, including the Boris FX product bundle. Thanks again, Boris FX, for supporting this video and donating to the giveaway. Thanks again for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new tutorials every week. I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another Tuesday tutorial. Bye! You guys can also get these awesome gal t-shirts in black and white on my store. I'll put a button on this end screen so you can click and go and get one for yourself.